Hello everyone, Moo here with another gameplay video for you guys. I've mentioned this little guy quite a few times now. Uh, he's the turtle from Finding Nemo, you know, uh, they kind of ride along with them across the ocean. And as I did mention before, you know, I've checked out the Japanese coin earning charts and it seems like he's really high up there and we haven't done his gameplay video. So let's check him out guys, I'm super curious to see what he's all about. Uh, see how good he really is. 5 to 4 in coin booster enabled so we can get a better idea of what he's all about at SL3. Uh, let's check it out. Hopefully he will impress. Oh, that is so cool! I love the animation. And it appears like he's a uh, vertical clearer, very much like Jiminy Cricket and Finnick. However... It seems to be that his coin earning multipli uh, pl multiplier is actually a little bit higher than those other two, which is why he's ranked so highly on the Japanese rankings. Uh, but let's see what we end up with coin-wise at the end of the game. I'm very, very curious now because Salazar, as you guys know, has absolutely killed it as far as SL3 Tsum Tsum Power creep is concerned so uh, we will do our best to clock manage even though at SL3 you know you can't really enter fever time immediately upon using the skill and a few other minor shortcomings but we can get around that just by playing uh, with a little bit of awareness there we go So we're halfway through the game and we're at about a thousand coin. So it seems like he's a little bit weaker than Salazar, but we also didn't get very many of him on screen so far. Um, and it might be the case that his skill does charge a little bit slower at SL3. At SL6, um, that might no longer be the case uh, because he does rank super high on their charts. So something has to change for that to be true. There we go. I waited there so we can get an extra five seconds. There is a large beast at the top, so popping that should get us into fever time, which it did. And uh, if we can get one more skill off, maybe we can reach 2,000 base coin. Not quite, uh, should maybe be 1800 after the bubble pops, no not quite, 1763, not bad at all. Um, I can see why this guy might have a little bit of potential later on at SL6. Right now he's not nearly as powerful as Salazar is at coin earning potential. That has to do with his clearing range and uh, the slightly slower charging up speed of his ability. But other than that, uh, very awesome, love the animation, has the potential. It's basically a straight up vertical clearer, which makes it easy to play. Netflix approved even. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about him. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, and see you guys next time.